are written by the masters who can realize the impact of any incident in space and time also that is the reason in some places some statements are made which you think as illogical or exaggeration it is not really exaggerated the statement is created for you to understand or realize the important of that incident on human consciousness anuman lifting sanjeevini hills and flying the incident may not be fact as it is he may not have flight lifted a huge hill he might have lifted only one part or few stones but the incident has got a major impact on the history timely help timely on time he bringing that particular medicine to the war field as sarva made help lakshmana to get his life back that incident has done a lot contributed a lot to the history to just to impress or to express or to express the important of the incident they have dramatized the whole scene or they would have used little more words to explain to make you understand the impact of that incident on space and time or the importance of that incident in the human history so what you need to understand is the spirit is the thread now i come to the main subject with this idea with this understanding if you look our religious rituals religious practices you will be able to understand how they are embodiment or the expression of spirituality how they are straight directly connected to spirituality the religious rituals or the religious scriptures or religious way of life religious doctrines religious rules religious regulations the very religious life itself is created only from this angle they are the practical day to day life or manual to live experience the great truths expressed by enlightened rishis <coughs> you need to have this one understanding how historians usually record only the length breadth and depth not the space and time and how our rishis have recorded length breadth and time length breadth depth and space and time the method in which our rishis have recorded incident is holistic they have not missed anything usual historians they tend to miss a lot and they have missed a lot that's the reason all western history is based only on year only on what happened never on what is the impact of that incident on human consciousness in the east we created puranas in the west they created history history is superficial just recording record of the incidents without bothering about their impact on human consciousness in the east masters were bothered they gave more importance 
to the impact of that particular incident on human consciousness, on humanity. That's why we say, if you want to know the whole Eastern history, just read the history of these ten handful of enlightened masters. That's enough. You'll know the gist. Just read the history of few incarnations. You know the complete history of East. In the West, you can't say that. Because they never bothered about the impact of a particular person's life on human consciousness. We wrote the history based on the impact, not on the incident. There may be very big incident happened, which has no impact on the human consciousness. Our people never bothered to record it. They never even recorded it. Our people never bothered to record that type of incidents. There will be very small incident which have changed the whole trend of thinking of the East. They recorded those incidents with a lot of importance given to it. And the so-called exaggeration is also done. Of course, when I say the so-called exaggeration, you need to understand, you can't analyze and criticize these incidents based on your logic and understanding. You need to have the complete vision why they made those statements. Only then you will be able to understand.